the channel one pizza too many cooking and unboxing videos and today um, I've been asked to uh, take a look at a ninja competitor for their air fryer oven so today I'm bringing you an unboxing video set up and a quick look at this air fryer oven from Hisapentia yeah you heard that right doesn't exactly roll off the tongue does it however um, I'm interested to see the oven I'm interested to see is it really a, a ninja competitor um, or is it just a another one of these ovens that yeah looks great but hasn't got the functions of the ninja etc so i'm going to take it out and um, make sure you stay tuned to the end and you find out the price point of this as well and that'll give you the idea of whether or not to buy it so um let's jump into the unboxing first thing we've got is um the hisapintia name air fryer oven and a general outline of what it is. I quite like, quite like that. Um, we'll spin it round. There's not much more information on it. It's just about, um, you know, for the curries, what's in it. And the product code is HYSAF001A. So, let's get into it. Let's get it open. So I'm just going to tip it up just so you guys can see and put a nice, I'm just going to carefully run along. And straight away we can see we've got a box in a box. A bit like Ninja really, they uh, love a box in a box. Okay, so let's slide this out. And what I will say is, I've not taken this out previously to this video, I've not looked at this before, so this is as it is, so you guys can see it as I do. on the corners in the uh, this main box as well with this thick cardboard on each corner so well protected and there's the main box itself and you know what you've got to say I think the packaging itself I think it was quite, quite attractive I think they've done a pretty good job of it and um, picture of the oven itself the controls and then on this side, it just says all the different functions or things that you can do. So it's got French fries, pizza, barbecue, broil, or for us in the UK, grill. Um, we've got rotisserie, we've got dehydration, you can do steaks, you can bake in it, and you can toast. Um, so it just got the brand and model number. It's got the voltage, um, it's got the power. So this is 1800 watt in power. It's a 24 litre capacity. Uh, it's got the dimensions, but I've got my tape measure, we'll do that later. Um, the temperature range as well, between 60 degrees centigrade and 230 degrees centigrade. So that's 40, um, well, 140 Fahrenheit to 450 Fahrenheit. Um, and materially stainless steel. So, so far, so good. Tip this over and slide it out on its side, hopefully, so you guys can see. Nothing else in the box, so there we go. Then 
then at the bottom we've got like, all the racks and everything so let's just clear this up. And then we've got the oven itself. So let's stand this up. Really well packaged, got to say. Obviously, if you do use a knife, just be careful not to scratch yours if you, as you're taking it out of your box. And you know what? I think it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's come around and have a little look. That is really cool. So it's taped up at the minute, but we'll get into all of that in a minute. Um, so the tin dial there, buttons. So far, it feels pretty. Pretty well built, but obviously um, we can have a look. So let's just have a look at the extra bits that have just come with it. So first of all, we've got a baking tray. We've got the air fryer basket. And we've got the grill and the shelf the, for the uh, or the handle for the grill, um, so you can slide stuff in and out as well. They're just cable tied together to stop them rattling around. Then inside we have some little silicon mitts for. Picking up your tray if it's hot. A little thank you and a warranty card. And then we have a little recipe book and user manual. We also have a bit of a poster if you wanted to put this up. Giving you all the combination cooking methods and all the different pieces of equipment to use inside it. I think that is really handy to have. Probably would have liked it slightly smaller um, because I'm not going to have that up on the wall really realistically um, but I think that's really good. And then this last bit with along with this bit that's attached here, let me just take this off. I'm just cutting the cable ties that this has got attached to it. And then inside this packet, we've got the rotisserie for the chicken. So these slide on. One each side. with like little grub screws okay and then you put your chicken on and you spike it in lock it on and then when it turns inside your chicken is going to turn as it cooks in the air fryer I really like that and while we're at it I'll cut the cable tie off the handle for this
Okay, so you've got your your, your rack um, handle. So quite a lot of plastics to it, really. I'm just gonna take the tape off the uh, off the door so we can open it. It's holding this on. There we go. And I'm just gonna take this protective film off the screen, and then we can have a look inside. Nicely made. There's a tray in the bottom. So that does protect the bottom of the oven. And there's two elements at the at the bottom and there's four at the top. So let's go back to the uh, rotisserie bit. That was the same to you earlier. There we go. So that would go in there and onto there. And Obviously, that'll spin with your chicken on. And it'll all be nice. And what I would do personally is I'd put that tray in the bottom to catch all of the uh, all the juices and the fat. And I would probably put some uh, roast potatoes in the bottom at the same time to cook as well. That way, you're utilising it to its potential, really. So let's take the rotisserie out. And you've got your air fryer basket, which goes straight in. You've also got your tray or your shelf to put more trays on as well. Does that go any higher? No, so that's the highest level. So I am going to plug this in, it does just come with a three pin UK plug. Let's put that shit in. And it beeps. I'll give it something beeps, it's always good. Um, and what I will say, it does give you a little warning in the instruction manuals to leave this um, away from walls and countertops and things like that. Um, so just make sure you've got plenty of space around it. Um, because at the back, um, just at the back, you'll see an air vent with a scoop up and you've got some vent louvers at the side for air coming out as well um, on both sides. Um, I've just had a quick look through the recipe book and I think they've nailed the UK market because one of the recipes is fish and chips from scratch including battered fish. I don't know about you, I'm a sucker for fish and chips so I think when we do a, uh, a demonstration or test of this I think I'm going to jump straight to this recipe um, and I think we'll give this one a go. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss this one. It currently says off on the screen so let's press the power button and we've got different things that's flashing so the toast setting, we've got bake, fish, vegetables so you've got loads of different presets on here so let's just move this preset in so as we move the preset in to different things you can see the time changes and so does the temperature so meat vegetables steak pizza cool and um, so let's just let's let's for example let's just put it on chips and let's go with it. So we've got the play and pause button, so let's switch that on. And you can hear it going. It's not as loud as other sort of air fries that I've used so far. Whether that's gonna pick up, I'm not sure. And there is also a little light so you can, you can see what's cooking. 
that's quite good. Saves a bit of um, electricity as well, if you don't want that on. So pause, let's see if we can power off, yeah. So let's power back on. Um, we've got a timer and we've got temperature settings, so um, let's go with how long do we want something on? And you can change the timer. You can also change the temperature. Let's go with that. I was a fan of the beeping originally, and already I'm not too sure about the beeping. Quite annoying that. I do like the light. Now I know I keep going back to it, the rotisserie bit, but let's. Oh, that's good. The light comes on on its own. It is warm already, that, just from a short use. So let's put the rotisserie bit back in. So you could also do sort of a nice pork joint on this for doing pulled pork or something like that. So now you can see the rotisserie is in place. We're going to close the oven and I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to go all the way to the, looks like a skewer on fire, but it's actually meant to be a chicken. There we go, so that's now flashing. And it presets it at 45 minutes for 180 degrees. So let's see if we can mess with that a bit. So time-wise, let's put it up to an hour. That is the maximum you can do as well on this because if you go over an hour it sets it to five minutes so an hour is the maximum so you'd have to reset it if you wanted something on longer uh, temperature let's drop it to 170 and let's go let's put the light on and you can see the rotisserie just spinning itself as it goes Uh, now as that's cooking, I'm going to do some measuring. Okay, so let's have a look at the height of this oven. So the height, 39 centimetres. And the width, let's go across here, is 41 centimetres. Light goes off on its own. Now the depth, including the handle. and the vent at the back is 40 centimetres. So it's quite a compact, sort of neat little size. Yeah, it's got rubber feet as well, um, and it is made from uh, stainless steel, aluminium, and some plastic bits as well, like the vents and things like that. Um, compared to the Ninja stuff, um, so far, I think it's um, looking pretty good, to be honest. There's a few manufacturing things like I don't think this turny sort of function knob is necessarily made as well. Like it's got a bit of a wobble to it, and it would have been nice if you just press that a bit like the ninja just to start the cooking process off. Um, but overall, that's the only thing really at the minute that I would sort of say maybe needs looking at. But apart from that, um, it looks a pretty good little oven. So my final verdict on this little oven, should you buy one? Well, I told you to wait until the end and to get to the price point, so here it is. This oven is currently £199 on Amazon. Um, there is a link in the description to my Amazon store where you can purchase this. Currently at the time of filming, there's also a £20 voucher code off it as well, bringing it down to £180, which when you look at the competitors from Ninja, um, you're saving yourself a good £100 in comparison. Now, I will be doing a comparison, a direct comparison video between this oven and the equivalent Ninja oven in the next few weeks. So make sure you do stay tuned to the channel for that. But so far, I think it looks a cracking piece of kit. And I'm looking forward to doing a bit of cooking in it. I'll bring some videos as well so um, you can see how it performs as an air fryer particularly the spit roast function I think is really good on it, um, a good option 
I think the way they've packaged it, the way they've branded it, um, I think they're going to hit the UK market really well. And looking at the reviews on Amazon, the reviews so far on there are really good. There's not uh, many negative reviews at all. So, you know, and people like to moan, don't they? So, overall, I think it probably is worth the £180 price point that it's coming in at and the market over here at the minute with that Amazon code. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you got one of these? Have you got the Ninja version? You know, can you see any comparisons that I should be looking at? Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure you are hitting that thumbs up button on the video and subscribing to the channel. Um, and I'll see you all again very soon. So thanks for watching everyone. One piece too many.